please welcome Gary Wills. The atomic bomb was created in World War II with many constitutional aberrations. Not even Vice President Truman knew anything about this. He had to be told three days after he became president, you know, we have this new weapon. Uh, and you might want to consider using it. So are you saying that we live in a perpetual state of emergency? Yes. The, there's no uh, time since World War II that we have not been on a wartime footing, and that's why the secrecy provisions of World War II were eclipsed by the ones afterward. You, you make a connection between one and two, that the bomb was built off the books by a presidential ed edict, and we now have an imperial presidency. All of the secrecy, all of the procedures, which were originally justified in terms of nuclear fear, continue to expand in cases where nuclear fear is now not involved at all. So what you're saying is that secrecy is being used as an alibi. I'm reminded of Thomas Jefferson, who said that for two people to keep a secret, one has to be dead. The power of the bomb is the power of the whole national security state that was set up around it. And that certainly does persist. I have great hopes for our nation, even though it's true that the top-down power is pretty rigid and pretty unbudgeable in many ways.